Hi everyone, Chloe here. This is a little quick video to show you some of the new features in the new release. So I'm just going to log in here. Okay, so before I show you the new chart, I just want you all, if you could, when you get started, to go into your admin, go into the user, users, and just try and find yourself by your location. You can put your name in. Um, make sure when you go in that your title doctor is there, so this comes up in prescriptions and different uh, templates for referrals and things. Initials, this is what your username is, so um, it's better that you have your initials so that everyone just uses the same initials all the time instead of names, uh, first names or whatnot. Um, and then obviously if you could put in your qualification as well, that'll come up on prescriptions, which is much better and it's optional if you want to put in your email. And of course this is the way if you ever want to change your password that you can change your password here. I'll just press save here and just exit out of this. So, I just want to show you a little test patient here, Apple Jones. Um, she's not actually booked in under a green area here, just because I wasn't in work today, but just as a test. So you right click, go into view chart, and you'll see a little reminder come up, so patient called in pain, thinks LA is required, Emma. So the best thing to do with these, if the patients just come in and you're opening up their chart, is dismiss it. Okay, that way it's not always going to come up every time you go into their chart. You can always find the note again. And if you see here with the new chart, on the side there's these three tabs. So you can always go into notes and you'll see they come up. Um, sometimes if you want to find all the different types of notes that are in the system, they'll all come up uh, if you just click all notes and search there. To go back, try not to X out of this anymore because it's all within the same window. Just click back at chart. It goes nice and quick now, which is great. Um, and as you can see now, the chart has changed a little bit. You have treatment plans as opposed to planned and to the completed. So it's all within the same kind of browser here. Um, if you see, it'll open up onto today. If a patient is in today and they've obviously been booked in for an emergency. Now this isn't a planned treatment, this is just to tell you that they're booked in for 10 a.m. for an emergency so if anything extra scale and polish or something that's not on the planned treatment uh, is booked in or even if there is a planned treatment booked in it will tell you what it is they are in for today. If they're booked for another day, for instance here the 11th of the 2nd, for that appointment, if that appointment's booked up, it'll now come and you'll see how long they've been booked in for it now. So you can see that was incorrectly booked in for 180 minutes, even though it's actually a 40 minute appointment because it was left at 180 minutes before. So we've built in this new feature that's going to make you, uh, force you nearly to make sure that those times don't go too long because the patients would have to pay 180 euro online on the patient portal to actually book this appointment and then you're going to lose money and they're going to get really annoyed so it's really really important that our times are put in correctly i'll show that to you in a little bit um so in terms of the other tabs here i just want to show you with the images it's not ready yet but we will have x-rays here but any documents or refer letters should be in this area um so it's really easy you can upload documents from the desktop or whatnot or anything that's on the hard drive on your computer in here, um, photos, things like that can be saved there. So I'll just go back. So they're booked in today for an emergency. You want to see what they were in for before, so you can just scroll up. Any notes will be saved here. So for instance, I only put this in today, so I can actually just write my note and say, you know, S and P, um, good OH. Okay. And press save but it's not saving probably because it's past the time that the clinic closed but you should be able to put in a note there if for whatever reason you can't put in a note because obviously they're trying to you know have it stop at the time okay so you can drag a note in if you just click the first appointment there in the visit that's already gone through and double click and write your note so Patient attended, heavy calculus, whoops, uh, OHI, okay, click save, 
and you'll see it'll come up here. And that way, whenever it's opened, you'll always kind of see what your last treatment was and what your note was from the last treatment. Okay, um, and obviously then you have your planned treatments. One of the things that we fixed, which is great, is the renumbering. So if you try and move appointments around, as you can see here, it'll automatically renumber the appointments correctly. Also, because they're no longer being numbered above, it's only the visit and when they came in, again, they're going to be completely and always, emphasis on always, in chronological order. And so will your notes. Um, so that's one of a really good change. Um, another thing I just want to show you here is the invoicing of procedures that have a different user. So for instance here, Ali, it's down that he's meant to be doing the amalgam filling, but for whatever reason, you know, he's fully booked doing endo or whatnot. Um, he, I'm going to be doing this filling. So I can literally just click this and invoice it. And it'll automatically say that it was me who invoiced it because I'm not done. Now, if nurses or admin staff are logged on, and as a dentist, uh, or if they're logged on and they try and invoice something, legally, now it's going to prompt them to have your password put in. So it's up to you to, to either go and put your password in or let them give them the, uh, the go-ahead to use your password for invoicing, things like that. Um, and as you see here, even though because it's all the same day, you'll see that it's all under the same visit. Okay, on a different day you'll get a new visit. And the only time on, on the same days that you'll have different visits is if it's done by a different operator, so by a different dentist. So that's the main thing. Um, notes, drag, yes. Yeah. So the medical history as well, I just want to show you here, if you hover over this, um, you'll just get the alerts and everything, anything that's in the medical history. That's a little easy and quick one, which is great. Um, so anytime there's anything in the medical history, it's just really easy. That little red alert will come up, and then you know you need to maybe check the medical history, make sure you know what medications they're on, whatnot. Um, as well, if, for instance, this appointment was 80, or rather, 100 minutes. I'm just going to save this and you try and exit out, it's going to say, do you actually wish to have an appointment over 90 minutes? In which case you say no, hopefully, for a filling like this. And you can just change the time back, press enter. Okay. Other things that have changed that I just want to show you here, for instance, filling. Obviously, you have to still go into private. Now, you can search now as well. So if you just wanted to write fill, and it should, you'll get all the, the fillings within the fillings. Or if you're up or in no category, and press enter again, you should get... anything with fillings coming up. Okay, so I'll just go back to the category of fillings. It just makes it a little bit easier. Um, when you click fillings, fillings should no longer go over 100 euro. Okay, so you see MOs, DOs, any of the bigger fillings that require matrix bands should be coming up as 100 euro in around 40 minutes. If you want to change that, that's, that's easy enough. Um, again, just double click. Uh, add your time. Great. So another thing I just want to show you with regards to deleting, you can now delete appointments all together. So delete. Okay. Um, but if you've already put something through and you put it through wrong, you can click on it and actually deactivate it as opposed to deleting it and it will get rid of the accounts as well. So just press yes, but it will always be within your history. 
Okay, so that's kind of the new aspects to the charts. The printout has changed as well. The best way to print out someone's plan, especially if you're even if you're in the middle of treatment, because I think patients genuinely like knowing what they've completed as well, but it's up to you. You can just do planned treatments or just completed, but I tend to do all items. So again, just make sure you have the plan highlighted. It'll actually highlight now. Print all items. And you'll see the printout comes up but it looks a little bit different. It just makes it really clear for patients' total appointment cost, total treatment cost, uh, and the times. Um, the individual individual times for the procedures we've taken out because they do kind of, they come up as kind of strange for three or 23 or whatnot. So um, that's just helped that issue there. And it looks a little bit more clear for the patients. And I think that's about it, guys. Um, the search bar, medical history, again, just the ease of scrolling through. Um, they're the main things. Um, there's definitely going to be com new changes coming through, but I think this is just going to make it a lot easier, a lot quicker, it's a lot faster. Uh, one thing that I did want to show you, if you're ever having to say, for instance, change a user, or if you're with any of these little things where you have a little kind of search um, icon here, you can literally just highlight and say I want to put that in under Ali instead. If I just click A and press enter, Ali will come up because he's that's his you, you pick the letter of their last name and it should come up. Or if say you're you're changing the location or something like that, and um, you can literally just click them really quickly. It makes things a lot easier. Okay. Um I'll just click save there. So that's it. I hope you like some of the new changes. And um, we look to look forward to hearing back from you. Our email addresses are on the email there, so you can give us an email or um, just get in contact with either Emma or I. And again, there's support ready on Monday if there's any issues. Please, as much as you can, try and email the issues, print, screen, even get it done later. If you're busy, just send it in a little bit later. And so the best thing is to print screen so they know what patient it was and describe what was going on. I know it's time consuming, but the more we can do this, the more we can you know, fix any little flaws that may happen because there are different systems being used. And of course there may be little glitches, but we're all working really hard to try and minimize them and get them sorted as quickly as possible. So thanks guys, I hope you enjoy the new chart.